Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Skunk and you're tuned into Skunk Daily. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's a nice day here at Hemp Beach. It is about 73 degrees and clear outside. 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 And uh, we're having a nice day here. I hope you guys are chilling, doing your thing, so on and so forth. Uh, hope you got some nice herb out there. Hope you guys are smoking, getting medicated, dabbing out, whatever it is you you prefer to do. Um, yeah. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, like I said, a nice day here. Um, another skunk daily, and uh, gonna go ahead and shoot the shit. Um, we we got Vegas coming up here soon, uh, next month. And, uh, fuck, I got, alright, chills, I'm gonna fucking do it, I swear I'll stop saying, uh, eventually, or, um, like, it's just a pain in the ass when, you know, you're not necessarily, like, this is all unscripted, people, like, I ain't got no script in front of me, I ain't got no guidelines, I just got what I feel like talking about and what I'm gonna talk about or things I'm gonna be doing or, or, the adventures and like I said eventually we'll have videos and, and pictures and stuff like that I must try and start putting pictures in this one actually so that way you guys have some some more visual references on top of everything that I might be saying so yeah um, going on moving on um, yeah like I said we got Vegas coming up in the champs trade show and that's early February coming up and uh, if anybody uh, who I know is watching this or listening to this knows that we have in the past few years done uh, our executives party which I pretty much have uh, set up myself and and get, got our guys and crew to you know basically run and do this uh, great party that we do uh, pretty much every champs trade show in Vegas so far um, we have done one in Colorado um, but going back to things we started doing them um, the first one was at uh, the Hard Rock, and uh, the next one was at the MGM, and then I think we did, um, what did we do, Caesars Palace, and then we went back to the MGM, yeah. Um, but uh, that's 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 pretty much the gist of things. We got plenty of people who, who like to do business on a different level, so we do a party that is not necessarily huge, but a lot of our friends in the industry and, and sh smoke shop owners and stuff like that do attend and um, do great business. Uh, I always hear about a lot of business being done, thousands of dollars of business and, and so on and so forth being done at our parties, which is a great thing. I, you know, the trade show gets us all together and, you know, we do something that's a little bit more of an intimate level, more one-on-one, -on -one, you know, chill and relax and not so much worried about the trade show and what's going on with that because you go to the trade show and it's just, it's, it's busy. Like, it, it, like, Champs Trade Show is a huge fucking trade show. I know it's not CES, which is going on right now. I love CES too. I wish I, I got to go to that. That's the, that's the consumer electronics show, and I'm kind of a nerdy, geeky type of person who loves gadgets and stuff, so I gotta go out to that. But if that takes up all the halls at the fucking Vegas Convention Center, and it takes up halls at the, the different uh, convention centers at the different hotels in the area also, because it's just so huge. Literally, the days that it's there, the regular press cannot even uh, go see everything. They gotta literally pick out what they're gonna go and see when they go. Champs it is huge, but you, you can almost barely, you know, just do the whole thing if you stop and meet every single person at every single booth. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, granted, thank God, we know a lot of people who have booths, so we do see them on a regular basis, so, you know what I mean, like, we do go to the booths, but it's just so many goddamn booths, and then on top of that, you got the fucking flame off that goes on, which all the artists and stuff that we've met over the years go and do their thing, and this one is the finals, because the earlier one in the year is, like, the semifinals to get to the finals, so that way, uh, uh, you know, it's a winner is crowned or whatnot. But, um, I said, I said it again, fuck, chills, I'm trying to stop, I swear, I'm, gonna ca I'm catching myself. But yeah, we got that going on, but, uh, one of the things I wanted to touch on was, um, a couple, uh, couple, like, uh, 
our last party um, was supposed to be at uh, one of the hotels um, and basically it didn't go as well as we necessarily wanted it to. Um, that's one of the reasons why I actually wanted to bring this up today because um, we were supposed to do something and it didn't necessarily happen because of some complications that uh, occurred and uh, it was kind of out of our hands. Um, and I know we upset some people and um, it wasn't necessarily the best of times, but it wasn't the worst of times either. But uh, everything that was supposed to happen didn't necessarily happen the way it was supposed to. Um, it was a, a fucked up situation. I feel very bad about it, honestly, because um, it was supposed to be a very big highlight of the trade show. And um, it necessarily didn't happen. So here's the deal. Um, it was basically back last July. And uh, it was at uh, the Mirage, Las Vegas. And we rented a, a three-bedroom villa um, at the Mirage. Now, this place is pretty much immaculate. And they had all, all the amenities that you can think of. We were supposed to, um, you know, have a lot of fun there and so on and so forth. You know, there was just... It was it was big. It was it was open, and there was plenty of space to do everything we wanted to do. And I, it just got messed up. I, I, as you can see, I'm 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 a little upset about it because of uh, just the way things were handled and so on and so forth. But uh, we rented a three-bedroom villa at the Mirage. Like, literally, it's a beautiful fucking place. Big, big open spaces. Uh, the decorations were, you know, immaculate. It was, like, crazy. The outdoor area had a putting green, had, a, like, a chill area. And then towards the back back was, uh, a, like, a, a pool, literally. Now, one of the bedrooms was, was just, you know, nice. Now, two bedrooms, great. Three bedrooms, awesome. It was it was enough space to have people spread out, and there was even a jacuzzi area, and uh, the 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 other bedroom was all the bedrooms were pretty much equal. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy. But like I said, all the rooms were out like facing outdoors. We had a jacuzzi. There was like his and her toilets and sinks and this that and the other thing. It was just an immaculate place it even had its own goddamn fountain in the back it was it was just pretty much ridiculous i was like okay now the bedrooms on the on the on the, on the roof had mirrors um <laughs> which is pretty crazy um well i think it was awesome but uh you know it was enough room to do everything we wanted to do have a great party have a lot of people over you know and um have some fun, basically, and this is what we do when we fucking do our parties when we go to Champs and shit like that. So, now, uh, we were there for an hour or so after, you know, being there, chilling, relaxing, enjoying everything, and so on and so forth. Like, we just basically, I was told by the guy that um, he was wondering if we were having a party there. And I was like, no, we're, in, or, you know, we're having a party and this is that and the other thing and we're having people over and, you know, we're trying to do things and, and he wanted to know details. So I told him the details. Meanwhile, all this was set up over the phone originally, all taken care of, everything was already, you know, talked to, discussed by, the, by their staff and blah, blah, blah. So... The guy comes back, and he's like, yeah, we can't have a party here. Um, I'm like, what do you mean we can't have a party here? Why do, you, why do you think we're here? Why do you think we, you know, rented this place? And, you know, so on and so forth. And, like, at first he was making it sound like, well, people of, of immaculate luxury or something come and stay here on a regular basis as, like, their home away from home. I'm like, 
I'm thinking to myself, home away from home, I don't have a, a pool in the back uh, on top of a putting green on top of a jacuzzi. <laughs> so I don't know who's home away from home you're thinking about, but this ain't my home away from home. But um, <laughs> like, yeah, he came back and he was just like, no, we can't have a party. I'm like, well, you got to talk to whoever because, you know, we really have, you know, set something up here. Like this is, this was planned like before way before we even got here like how could he even do this to us and so on and so forth and he's like all right i'm gonna go go and come back and then uh one of my buddies uh went to the back of the place and there was a like an emergency door or something and he opened it and propped it open and was like hey look you know we can get people out here and have them come through this way and not even through the hotel and not bother anybody and i was like no dude close that up bad idea not not good and then next thing we know we got another knock at the door the guy comes back and he's like yeah someone at that back door open up the back door blah 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 and i'm like yeah but he had no idea it wasn't marked and so on and so forth and uh he was just like sorry he's like we can't do this um he's like if you're gonna have a party here there's a whole extra like charge and this that and the other thing he's like but if you want to stay it's going to be uh 50 people or 20 people he said like that that could that could be hanging out and chilling and i was just like well that's not going to work another only option was to go ahead and get a refund and you know pack up and you know leave so that was definitely not going to be an option but unfortunately it was the option that we took it sucked it really fucking sucked this place was going to be awesome dab stations taken care of everything was taken care of food drink all was taken care of so yeah food and drink was taken care of like everything was taken care of like it was a perfect setting perfect setup and everything and the mirage just basically fucked us and, you know, the person over the phone told us one thing, and then when we got there, after we paid for everything, everything was paid. Paid, 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 paid. You know? Tip, 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 tip. Everybody was tip. You know what I mean? Everybody was paid. No, no, no. Can't do it. Can't do it. Sorry. No. But we'll give you a refund. Blah, 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 blah. That was just fucked. Fucked. Out of my hands. Out of my control. It was my fucking birthday, too. It was my goddamn birthday. To top it all off. Now, after that, <clears throat> I was making phone calls, frantically trying to set something back up. And it was already like 1 o'clock. No, no, no. It was already 3, 4 o'clock by that time. And it was just like, oh my fucking God, what are we going to do? And on top of that, think about it this way. The, the money we put down on that fucking hotel and paid for and everything, now we have to get a refund. You think you're in Vegas and with all the money in the hotel and casino, they could just be like, how would you like that? Would you like that back in cash? Would you like that back on your card? You know, this, that, and the other thing. No. You know what they fucking did to me? We're going to just go ahead and give you a refund and it's going to take seven to ten days to get that money back. And in some situations longer. I'm like, whoa, ho, ho. I'm like, so now I'm really fucked? Like, I have to spend money on a room that not everybody can get to and get in, or you can give me a refund in the next 10 days or more. Whew. Holy fuck. Like, holy fuck. So, frantically making phone calls, trying to figure out what we can do. And granted, it, the, it wasn't exactly perfect or, or anything we had planned, you know. But at the last minute, homies came through, and our buddy Canabruce came through, and he was like, "Listen, I hear what's going on. I can get a, I can get a suite. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. You know what I mean? No worries." He's like, "Just do what you have to do to to get everybody changed and situated." Because at the time, we started telling people where to go. And then we flipped it. But as soon as we start, our parties are so popular. As soon as you tell one fucking person, they're telling everybody. So everybody was still showing up at that hotel, even though we reversed it and said, hey, we're, we're at this hotel. I think it was the Riviera. Um, we were at that hotel now. So we were like, 
Fuck. And then on top of that, I fucked my leg up. I, I slipped in the, in the pool and, and hurt my foot, and I was out of commission again. I was in a wheelchair, being wheeled around. I could not walk. I could not walk the show. Like, it was just a horrible, like, my birthday was right then. Like, like, I could not believe the fucking shit that I had to deal with on that. Like, you know. Yeah, it was a fucked up time. It was a really fucked up time. But, like, thank you to my buddy fucking Bruce who came through and fucking he, he did his shit. Fucking he, he does Headwise and, and a bunch of different products he deals with and stuff like that. Um, he came through. Um, our friends still came through. People who we knew still came through. But I think they, when they came through, they, you know, they were expecting, you know, something that we normally do. And instead of just our homie coming through and doing the best he could, he can do to just help out, you know, just to be a friend and, you know, not let the party die and and do whatever that he could. He came out. No one else did that. No one else did that. No one else came to us, you know, and said, well, well, I can't say that. Not everybody. I, I don't know. I just can't say other people. I don't know if they want to be called out. <clears throat> so I'm not going to call out, call them out. But there was like one or two other people who might have came out of the woodwork. But he came out of the woodwork and it was already pretty much said, said and done, ready to go. So, you know what I mean? It was just perfect timing. He did what he could. I was just so grateful for that. And uh, I want to do the next one. Um, I want to fucking do it with him and, and do it up and do what we can. So I'm trying to get sponsors on board and so on and so forth. So if you want to sponsor the party, hit us up at beachettechbros.net or on Facebook. But yeah, I'm not here to promote that. I'm just here to fucking kind of give my side of the story after all this time and what happened last time. But... Um, I apologize to everybody who might have gotten fucked over on that situation and went to one hotel, <clears throat> went to one hotel and found out it was another and had to drive and it, just everybody, uh, the sponsors, I you know, it just, it sucks, it was out of my hands, you know, and yeah, I don't know what to say, uh, it's just out of my hands, couldn't do anything about it, it wasn't, uh, the cards for those days were not dealt properly for us. But uh, the next one coming up, I think we're going to do pretty good. So as long as things go good and we can set those up, we will. And we will fucking do it. But uh, for now, uh, yeah, just uh, thank you to everybody who came and showed up and all the sponsors who are still supporting us and so on and so forth. Thank you. Um, yeah, fuck, get blaze, um, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Uh, but for now, I'm Skunk, and this is uh, Skunk Daily. Talk to you soon, or talk to you tomorrow, or whatnot. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoy. Sorry it's a little longer than the last ones. Let me know in the comment section if you like them shorter or longer or whatnot. All right, guys, peace out from Hemp Beach.